Hello everyone, it's K Michelle with Lady Dragonfly Designs. I'm so happy you stopped by my channel. And if you're returning, I love y'all. Thank y'all so much. It's just a growing. I'm having so much fun making so many new friends and, and uh just oh I couldn't ask for anything better. Okay. I found in my stash these little books. Okay. Um I did these, uh, this video for this book uh, was 11 years ago. I, I know, I about fell out of my chair when I found that out, okay? Um, this video that I learned to make this pocket, uh, it she called it a one-sheet mini pocket book, okay? And the video I watched was CC Creations. I will link the video below. Um, I was talking with Misty, and I don't, we haven't seen any of her content. I need to check her channel. I meant to do that before I came on. Uh, my anxiety is uh, <clears throat> uh, kind of high right now uh, because I'm pre-filming. So it really is Tuesday evening and I'm trying to pack and get the laundry done so I can go to Austin for my best friend's uh, funeral tomorrow. So, But I wanted to come on and show y'all this. I lost them for a hot minute. Okay, so I'll link the video to do that one. Uh, word to the newbies, though. In her video, she uses score tape. And in my last video, I was telling y'all, um, I would, instead of doing score tape, just run a, just a small bead of glue where she tells you to put the score tape, okay? Just because, uh, uh, you know, I made this 11 years ago, and uh, I promise you hers has fallen apart you know, and uh, with mine, uh, I added washi tape on it and everything, so, and this is the, uh, it's raining cats and dogs, so I'm actually going to put that in, this one, in that journal now that I've finally made it. Um, okay, well, then, I cannot find the video on this one, okay, but look at this, okay, you have a pocket here, oh, snap, you have a, let me do it this way. Let me borrow you. You got a pocket here, okay? Then you open it up, and you got a pocket here, and you open it up to the middle, and you got angle pockets. See, and I did score tape on these, and they're sticking. So it's better just to use the glue. Okay, and another, and it's, it's like, it's like a uh, mirrored uh, on one side of the signature and on the other, okay? All right, so these are just so cute. I, I made, a, after I figured out how to make these, I sat down and made like 15 of them in, in like 20 minutes. It is so easy, even with the binding and all that stuff, okay? And so I dissected this one to figure out how I uh, created it. And so here is the outside cover. And as I told you, it was mirrored. So you just put two side pockets. And then the next piece is you got pockets on this side and pockets on this side. And then on this one, you open it up and it's really a, um, it's actually an eight by six piece of paper. And if you can see, you just fold it, you, you, you fold it in half, and then you do corner tucks. Does that make sense? All right. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to do two, and I cut this one, and I messed it up. But I'm going to show you how we can fix it. Because I was sitting here, it's like, snap. But I, yeah, okay. All right. So, one, eight. Okay, this uh, piece of paper, you're going to take a, a 12 by 12, okay? Uh, you're going to make one eight by six, two four by six, two three one and a one three quarters by six, and two one and a half by four. Okay. All right. I cut mine wrong. Um, what I did is I did one of the, I only did one four by six here. And uh, since I cut it wrong, this is what I have. Okay. Um, I'm going to show you how we can still make that work. Okay. All right, I'm going to start with um, this big one, if you can see, folded in half like that, okay? All right, 
and this is double-sided. If you don't have double-sided paper, don't sweat it because um, you can uh, decoupage or add stuff to it, you know, whatever. It's, it's not that big of a deal, okay? So I am going to fold this like that, okay? Okay, and I got my example, okay? Okay, and so we are, look, okay. We're gonna fold it kind of to the middle. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make a peak, okay? So you just kind of fold it, you match it up, and just kind of press it down, and you might have to finagle it, okay? I'm good enough with that, okay? Because um, this part's gonna be in your uh, seam anyway, and you're really not gonna be able to see this side because it's gonna be like that, okay? So if you can't do it perfect, don't sweat it. Ain't no big deal, okay? So you see what we did? So we folded it in half, made that corner, and flipped it. And so now um, we're gonna, I'm gonna flip it over and go like this, just because it's easier to uh, get that fold. And of course, I'm working with cardstock double-sided paper, which, you know, if you have regular uh, pa uh, cardstock, not cardstock, regular uh, scrapbooking paper, it is easier. But you can still do it with cardstock. Uh, you just kind of have to, okay? All right, so there is this one, which is going to be the middle I keep wanting to say signatures, okay? So there's that one. So the next one, we have a pocket here and a pocket here, okay? And you see that they're different, how I did that? All right. So here is my four by six, okay? All right, and this, uh, I'm going to do the one I cut correctly because I'm gonna show you what we can do for the other one, okay? All right, so here's my base, four by six. And then let me get my ruler and figure out which one we used here. I think this is the one and three quarters. So you should have two strips that are one and three quarters and six inches. These. Okay. <laughs> all right. So, all right. What I'm going to do is just line it up that simple. Get my art glitter glue and just glue around or glue on the sides and on the bottom. Okay, sorry. I, I don't know why I'm so quiet when I do that, but I am. Just gotta concentrate. Okay, all right. Okay, perfect. So we flip it over and like what I'm gonna do is same thing, just the sides and the bottom. I mean, y'all, uh, this makes a cute little uh, gift. Uh, like I said, I gave uh, several of them away as gifts, and they were totally adorned by the people I gave them to. Very, uh, you know, because you can carry this in your purse. Um, Cece said her friend made hers a Christmas one, and she, it was her little Christmas organizer like with people's sizes and like their little wish list. So when she went Christmas shopping, she had this in her purse. So, and the, this is the same kind of theory, okay? All right, so we have used those just like we did here. And so now I'm going to attempt to fold it. Okay, I got a wrinkle. Why I got a wrinkle? I don't want a wrinkle, come on. It's just harder to manipulate cardstock. Okay. All right. All right. And that will work itself out. Okay. All right. So now we have that page. Okay. Right. Put that over here. And then our last page is another four by six. Okay. I messed it up. Okay. It's not that big. But. I am going to show you what we can do. Okay, 
And with these, we're going to make uh, pockets, okay? All right, so what I'm going to do to fix my boo-boo is, all right, this was supposed to be six, okay? All right, so what I am going to do is just kind of divide that up. Uh, right there. Okay. Hope I can see. Okay, I got my glasses. <laughs> All right. And then from there to there. Oh, I gotta see. Okay. And to there. And all I did is I took that and just kind of, you know, split it in the middle. But if you cut it correctly, it should be okay, which I do have another one. We're going to do another one, and I'm going to try to cut it correctly, okay? All right. <clears throat> so what I am going to do is I'm going to pull this line right there. So I'm going to overlap it to compensate for the paper that's not there. Does that make sense? And then again, I'm just going to glue on the sides. And then, you know, it's that, so right about there. Not exact science. Okay. Okay. And then again, like I said, I'm just gonna put that line right there so I know I'm overlapping. Okay. All right. And then I'm gonna do the same thing over here and here's my line so I'm gonna do it on the side and these sides and oh, up here and line it up all right and that is how I fix it and turn it into a six by six okay Okay, all right, all right, so then we're just going to fold that in half, okay? So see, even if you cut it wrong, you can fix it, okay? I've learned that over the years by trial and error. And so we still have, oops, have two pockets. If I could get the glue there, come on. Okay, so we have that. All right, so we bring it all together. Okay, and this is the outside. So see, that even actually kind of makes it cute. I really like that. Okay, and then we're going to put them together. Okay. There is no, I, I mean, no measuring. I am just totally going to eyeball it. I'm going to get some of my, whoops, wax. On these books, all I used was uh, uh, cross-stitch thread. But this is here and convenient. And like I said, my anxiety is high. I don't have time. <laughs> All right. And I put the tail on the outside. Okay. Which. All right. I'm going to get it off. I got spoiled with the awl. Uh, but if you don't have an awl, that's fine. Just poke it through with the needle. Okay. And I'm not going to do a big hole. Okay. And then I'm going to come here. And remember, if you want your tail on the outside, you start from the outside. If you want your tails on the inside, you start from the inside, okay? While I got that needle there and I'm holding it, I am just going to make another little hole there. And again, if you don't have that, you just come through with your needle, okay? Try not to pick up everything off the desk with it. The struggle's real. Oh, all right. Okay, and then again, I'm just gonna come over here and kind of, you know, just eyeball it. Right about there, I think. Okay. And if you're using just regular paper, uh, you don't need the all. You can do it all with the needle, but the, you know how it is with cardstock. It gets thick on me and I can't maneuver it and then just a, uh, 
Is this pamphlet stitch, I think? I can't remember. I just call it my stitch because it's the one I always use. I get myself very confused with the other ones. You need to go back there. Okay. Remember, tie it, it kind of strong, but not too tight because you'll rip it. And if you got heavy hands like me, just be careful. And I always just put two knots in it. Cut it off. You can put some dangles on there if you want to. It is that simple. And aren't these just the cutest little things ever? Oh, they're so cute. And then all you gotta do is decorate them, give them out to little gifts. <laughs> I'm gonna smash that on a book so it'll, you know, oh, better yet, I got clamps. That'll just help the glue and the uh, cardstock just, you know, <clears throat> lay down the way I want them. I'm gonna go ahead and do the whole thing. Okay. All right, now we're gonna make one more. Okay, to show you the cuts, okay? All right, <clears throat> and we got, woo, polka dots and swirls. Okay, all right, paper trimmer. Okay, all right, so the majority of the papers are six, so I start off right off the bat just cutting a piece of six by 12, okay? All right. And also keep in mind, if you have directional, you know, uh, like the lines there, if you want them to go up and down, keep that in mind because you uh, need to cut it the right way. Does that make sense? I don't know. All right. Our first one is going to be the eight by six. Get myself confused already. Okay, and then that's four, okay? That's where I messed up because I was like, oh, cool, I already got half of it done. You need another one, okay? So I am going to, this is six, go to four and cut another one, okay? All right, then I'm going to cut two strips of six and one and three quarters. So just line it up, one, one and three quarters, two, okay, and measure, okay, that is not four yet, um, so I'm just going to trim it down to four inches, okay, okay. Then I'm gonna turn it, because we got four, and so now we need it one and a half. And I'm just gonna cut two of those. See, this cutting I like, when, when you have to do it, like when you're doing it, and you can't do it beforehand, that just confuses me. Okay, and that's the extra piece you're supposed to have, which you can actually um, put in, because that's gonna be exactly that size. So actually, I have a piece left over. Okay, let me put that over here. And then, okay, so we have our two one and a half, our two one and three quarters, and our two four by six, and our one eight by six, okay? All right, I'm just gonna fold this like we did on the last, okay? The dissected one out so you can see. Okay, so we're making this one. Okay, if it was folded out, that's what it would look like. And then we're going to come in and remember, do the little pointy uh, does not have to be perfect because this is going on the inside. So if you can't get it completely the way you want it, it's okay. Ooh, y'all, look how perfect that is. I couldn't do that again if I tried. I have never gotten a perfect one. A little overlap, but oh my goodness. Okay, so it's gonna go like that, okay? And um, if you want to glue these sides, you can, but the stitch is going to uh, bind that. So now, and like I told you, I like to flip it over and fold it. And again, I'm working with cardstock, so it's not the easiest thing to work with. <laughs> 
as I'm grunting. Okay, then I'm going to flip it over just because I already made the fold and it just helps it. <coughs> oh, excuse me. My, my allergy medicine is wearing off. Okay, so that's that one. Okay, then our next one. Okay, I'm going to flip it over and do it that way. Okay, and we're doing the two on the bottom, which is the, I, I still got to measure. Okay, the one and three quarters by six. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to glue the sides. Like that. And put it down. And if you are working with the cardstock, I didn't think about it, but I could have folded my paper first and folded this one for that matter. You know, if you're working with cardstock and you're having a hard time to fold. Oh, it's too big. And if you do, you know, all paper trimmer, you know, just if you got it, just, you know, work with it. Okay, we're gonna flip it over and I'm gonna do the same thing down the sides and down the bottom. All right. Y'all, in my last video, I gotta tell y'all, uh, in my last video, y'all, uh, remember I heard the wash machine and uh, I told y'all I was gonna just deal with it. Oh my gosh, okay, so I went in there Okay, I'm just trimming that still. Um, went in there, and it said 4C, and then it flashed 33. I have no earthly idea what that means. So, I, I opened it, finally got it to open. It wouldn't do anything. Um, but I finally got it to open, and I looked at the load, and I'm like, uh-uh, this is balanced. You know, I had a pair of jeans, a, a, a robe, and a blanket. It was all balanced. And, um, okay, cool. All right, so we made that one. Okay, so now we're going to take the other one and just, you know, okay, so that's the center one. That's the next one. And so figure out if you want that on the outside or how you want it. And I think, mm, I think I want it this way. Okay, so we take our last two pieces and glue them to the side. But this one, we don't have to overlap because we cut it right this time. So again, just down the sides and the bottom of the pocket. So it should be across the sides and down the side, something like that, you know. Okay. Right, we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So, anywho, back to the wash machine. Um, so, I'm sitting here. It's like, I didn't know, I didn't unbalance this load up, I, I promise. And um, so, I was like, okay, fine. I'll figure it out. I uh, was hungry. So, I was like, well, I'm just going to make my lunch and chill for a minute and then figure it out. Okay. Well, I go uh, to make my sesame chicken and my spring rolls. And uh, it has a little sesame sauce packet. And I'm just going to trim these edges. Okay, easy peasy. And uh, make my spring rolls stuff. I go to put the pouch uh, in a cup of hot water. I have no water. So that was the problem with the wash machine. It was telling me there was no water coming through. So I come in here and I check my email and sure enough, the county had sent out a water alert that somebody, uh, they were working on the main uh, because something happened, whatever, please be patient, yada, yada, yada. So I was like, okay, wonderful, wonderful. Okay, and there is your outside. So here are the three, okay, again. And we're just gonna sew them again, just like we did. Oop. Okay. See, and we all think our trimmer is crooked, and I am no exception, but I actually kind of like that. I'm just going to leave it. Okay. You. Oh. Needle. My awl. Oh. 
So yeah, so when I called Scott, or well, actually he called me, and uh, I confessed that, because uh, it wasn't my fault, um, that the washing machine did the beeping again. And he's like, you didn't. And I said, I didn't. You listen to the end of the story before you try to get me in trouble because this was not my fault. And and so uh, I was telling him about uh, the county turned the water off. <laughs> so, and I was like, and you were getting ready to yell at me. You thought I unbalanced the washing machine and I didn't even. That was, it was funny. Tightly, kind of strong, but not too strong because you'll rip it. And two knots. Cut your tails. Ta da! I like that. I like the wonkiness of it, actually. And that's so cute. I mean, of course, if you go slower and more, you know, I'm, I'm just kind of hurrying for video's sake. And my anxiety is high at the moment. Oh. And now the dogs are gonna bark. It is a lovely 56 degrees. And let me tell you, somebody who has hot flashes, it's wonderful. Okay, so that is how to make those. Um, and I said, I will, I will list this um, video down below and uh, I hope you liked it. Uh, give it a try. They are just too cute. Too cute and too simple to make, you know? Uh, as long as you cut them right. But like I said, even if you don't cut it right, they still look pretty cool. And all you got to do is embellish them and uh, give them away as little gifts or something, you know? Or keep them for yourself for your, uh, like, little coupons or something. Or if you're uh, planning either for Christmas or Thanksgiving or uh, just a shopping list. They're perfect for that, you know, or a little outing journal. These would make really cute little outing journals if you, you know, don't have your family trained like I do to give me the bags and stuff that I could use for a cover, but these would make perfect little outing journals too. So I uh, hope you enjoyed. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to come along with me on my crazy creative journey, grab your glue and your scissors and your paper, and let's create something really cute. All right. And till my next video, I love y'all. Bye.